with the Oscars coming up, I thought that would be a topic to talk about, so here we go. So, I have with me an Oscar ballot that I print out. And I'm going to talk about my predictions for the categories at the Oscars. Yeah, you know who's going to win. So for Dr. Paz, I'm just saying. Um, I'm not going to go into details about, you know, like, documentary, short, or foreign film, or, you know, obviously the categories that I haven't seen, but, you know, I've seen most of Best Picture, I've seen... All of the performances by most of the leading actors and actresses and supporting roles. So I'll give you my take on what's going to win. And I'll talk about some other issues with that I have with the Oscars at the end of the show. So, um, so let's talk about original screenplay. The nominees are Amour, by, written by Michael Haneke. So I'm going to butcher some of these names. I mean, it's, it's a foreign film. Django Untamed by Quentin Tarantino, Flight by John Gattins, Moonrise, Moonrise Kingdom by Wes Anderson and Roman Coppola, Coppola, and Zero Dark Thirty by, written by Mark Bull, well, Zero Dark Thirty written by Mark Bull. I am going to give this one to Django Unchained because... It is witty, and it's original, and I love the dialogue. That movie has solid dialogue in it. The nominees for writing adapted screenplay are Argo by Chris Terrio, Beast of the Southern Wild, written by Lucy Alibar and Ben Zelti Zelatini? Zel Zeltin. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Life of Pi, written by David McGee, Lincoln by Tony Kushner and Zer oh, sorry and Silver Linings Playbook by David O. Russell. I'm going to say that that is going to go to Argo because the writing in that movie was very good. It had a nice balance of tension and comedic, which which is awesome for the movie. It made the movie much more enjoyable that way. Anyway, let's move on to visual effects. The nominees are The Hobbit, Life of Pi, Marvel's The Avengers, Prometheus, and Snow White and the Huntsman. I'm going to say that's going to go to Life of Pi. Because all of the other ones have great special effects, but I feel like Life of Pi is the one that takes advantage of to tell the story and have good visuals to go along with it. And I'm going to go the same way for the next two categories, sound editing and sound mixing. Um, I know it's already read your nominees, but you know, it's something like that. Live action short film. I haven't seen any of these. I'm going to say it's a uh, this one, it's, I'll read your nominees. A Sad, Buskashi Boys, Curfew, Death of a Shadow, and Henry. I'm going to say it's Death of a Shadow. Sounds cool. Only time I'm going to base it off anything. By Adam and the, Adam and the Dog. By Minkyu Lee. For fresh guacamole by P.E.S. Heads, head over here. Oh. Head over hills by Tom, by Tommy Reckhart and Fodia Crony O'Reilly. Uh, Maggie's Maggie Simpson in the Longest Daycare by David Silverman and. Paper Man by John Cards. I'm going to give this one to Paper Man. I think it's going to take it home. Because it was very simple short film. 
barely any dialogue. There's no dialogue in the short. It's in black and white. Had an interesting take. It was very moving. It was a very good short film. So I think it should be an obvious choice for best. An obvious choice for best animated short film. Production design is next category, and I s then and the no and the nominees are Anna Karina, The Hobbit, Les Misérables, Life of Pi, and Lincoln. I'm gonna give this one to Les Mis, Les Misérables. It had a lot of major set pieces. Now we are going to best original song in a motion picture. Uh, we the nominees are Before Time from Chasing Ice, Everybody Needs a Best Friend from Ted, Pi's Lullaby from Life of Pi, Skyfall and Skyfall, and Suddenly from Les Miserables. I'm gonna give this one to Skyfall because well I like that song. All these songs are great, but I like this song out of all of them and. I feel like this song has more of a connection to it being an original song for the movie than any of the other songs. Than any of the other songs. Next category is Original Score. And the nominees are Anna Karina, score by Dario, score by Dario. Marianelli, Dario Marianelli, Argo by Alexandre Desplat, Life of Pi by Michael Dana, Lincoln by John Williams, and Skyfall by Thomas Newman. I'm going to give this one to Life of Pi. I don't have a reason why I add it. Out of all the scores, it's the one that sticks out the most and it's very original. It goes along well with the movie, so I'm going to say Life of Pi. Makeup and Hairstyling. The nominees are Hitchcock, The Hobbit, and Les Miserables. I'm going to give this one to Les Miserables. Foreign language film. I don't know any of these nominees. Except for, no, I don't know any of them. I'm going to give it to a more... My only reason for that is it's also in the Best Picture nomination, so that has to be something, so go off of that. Film Editing. The nominees are Argo, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Linings Playbook, and Zero Dark Thirty. I'm going to give it to Argo, mainly because of the last 30 minutes. It was edited so well, and you were really glued to your seat, and you were tense, and that was great editing, so that's why I'm going to say that that's going to win best editing, I guess. Documentary short. I haven't seen any of these. The nominees are Innocent, King's Point, Mondays at Racine, Open Heart, and Redemption. I'm going to give it to Redemption just because I, I like the name Redemption. Sounds something that could be worthy. I don't know. I haven't seen any of these, so I'm going to say Redemption. Documentary Feature. I haven't seen any of these either. Nominee Star, Five Broken Cameras, The Gatekeepers, How to Survive a Plague, The Invisible War, and Searching for Sugar Man. I'm going to say The Invisible War. The Invisible War. Because it sounds like an interesting title. I wonder what The Invisible War is. Directing. The nominees are... Directing. And the nominees are... Amor. Directed by Michael Hanke. Beast of the Southern Wild, directed by Ben Zitin. I, I, I don't. I can't pronounce the name. Zitin. Zitin. Yes, yeah, Zitlin. Z, Z, There's an L there. I can't. I can't see. 
Beast of the Seven Wild, directed by Ben Zietlin. Life of Pi by Ang Lee. Lincoln by Steven Spielberg. And Silver Linings Playbook by David O. Russell. I'm going to give this one to Lincoln. It was by far one of the better directed films out of those categories. I've seen four of them, haven't seen them more. So I don't know that, but Lincoln was impressively shot, directed, it had a lot of motion behind the camera, the scenes were great, so Lincoln. Costume design. Anna Karenina, Les Miserables, Lincoln, Mirror Mirror, and Snow White and the Huntsman. I'm going to give this to Les Miserables because I love the costumes in that movie. So, period. I am also maybe a little bit biased because I read the 1300 page book, but pretty cool costumes. Cinematography. The nominees are Anna Karina, Django Unchained, Life of Pi, Lincoln, and Skyfall. I am going to give this to Skyfall. It was an impressively shot film from start to finish. And it's actually the first time I really noticed how well a f how well a film could actually be shot. So it was this well shot film. Animated feature The nominees are Brave by Mark Andrews and Brenda Chapman, Frank and Weenie by Tim Byrne, Paranorman by Sam Fell and Chris Butter, Pirates, Band of Misfits by Peter Lord, and Wreck-It Ralph by Rich Moore. I'm going to give this to Wreck-It Ralph because not only did it have little game nuances that I enjoyed from the movie, but it had a very great emotional story about Ralph, and that was cool to see that they didn't need to take it so seriously, but they did, and it was a great film. Now we're at the top five. We're at, you know, actress, actor, and best picture. So let's start off. Supporting actress. The nominees are Amy Adams in The Master, Sally Field in Lincoln, Anne Hathaway in Les Miserables, Helen Hunt in The Sessions, and Jackie Weaver in Silver Linings Playbook. I'm going to give this to Anne Hathaway, obviously, because the little screen time she had in Les Miserables, which is kind of sad, made most of that movie because she did an incredible job. And I cried. When she sang that one song, I cried. Okay, leading actress. This is a, a tougher category. We have Jessica Chastain in Zero Dark Thirty, Jennifer Lawrence in Silver Linings Playbook, Emmanuel Riva in Amor, Quivenzane Wallace in Beast of the Seven Wild, and Naomi Watts in The Impossible. I'm going to give this to Jessica Chastain because she plays such a confident, strong f female lead in Zero Dark Thirty that I think that's what the Academy is thinking about. But Jennifer Lawrence was also good in Silver Linings Playbook. If it wasn't between those two, I would personally pick Jennifer Lawrence, but it's probably going to go to Jessica Chastain. Best Supporting Actor. Alan Arkin in Argo, Robert De Niro in Silver Linings Playbook, Philip Seymour Hoffman in The Master, Tommy Lee Jones in Lincoln, and Christoph Waltz in Django Unchained. I'm going to give this one to Christoph Waltz. He is an entertaining guy, and he made half of that film. Entertaining. Okay, so we have leading actor. The nominees are Bradley Cooper, Silver Linings Playbook, Daniel Day-Lewis in Lincoln, 
Hugh Jackman and Les Miserables, Joaquin Phoenix in The Master, and Denzel Washington in Flight, obviously, I'm going to pick Daniel Day-Lewis, because he wasn't even Daniel Day-Lewis. He was Lincoln, and he brought a human Lincoln that we never really saw. We always heard about the legend, so that's why I'm going to pick Daniel Day-Lewis. The big one, best picture. The nominees are Amor, Argo, Beast of the Southern Wild, Django Unchained, Les Miserables, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Linings Playbook, and Zero Dark Thirty. I'm going to say Argo is going to take this one home. Because I believe that it is the best picture this year. I never, I was very, I liked, I loved this film. I was very entertained by it. It made me laugh. It made me feel tense. It was the best film this year. And I will, I strongly believe that this is the year where directing and best picture aren't going to match up. I believe strongly that Lincoln, Steven Spielberg is going to take home director, but it will not also claim best picture. I have a feeling Argo is going to take that. And this is one of my biggest beefs with the Oscar this year, is that there there's too many snubs. I mean, you, you snub Leo for Best Supporting Actor, and you snub Ben Affleck for Best Director. And he, Ben Affleck was bigger snub than Leo. My, the one that pissed me off was Ben Affleck. Angry. Another thing that I don't like about the Academy is that they have nine nominees for Best Picture. And last year they had nine nominees. And last year they had ten nominees. And last year, the year before that they had ten nominees. And they, they need to stop that. There's no need to have ten nominees for Best Picture. You should just have the five nominees. And then you should have those match up with Director. Because I strongly believe that you cannot win... No, I strongly believe... That if you make a movie that's worthy of Best Picture, then you should be worthy for Best Director. And that being said, I believe that Ben Affleck should have been nominated. Because you already could tell that Argo was going to get nominated for Best Picture. And Ben Affleck is a good director. So why they did not nominate him, I don't know why. So, that's it. It's filled out. Everything I said. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below. Who do you think is going to win Best Picture or Director or any of the categories I just said? And if you're really in your award fix mode at the moment, there are these people that do what I'm trying to do on YouTube. And then they had, they just released their You Reviewers Movie Award Show. It's a four part episode, it's all online now. Uh, I'll leave links in my. Uh, description and you guys can check that out because it's entertaining and they have sense in the movies that they pick for nominations and subscribe please